Hey, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. My name is Mike, and today we're going to test out the Vava Blender. Just came in the box. They wanted us to do a review. As you know, as you've been following us through our over 200 videos that you've seen every one of, right? And you're subscribed, right? Yes. Anyway, you know we use the Ninja Blender. We've used it for a long time. It's worked really well, but Vava, new kid on the block. Want to see what it's about? So let's see what's in the old Baba box. Pieces, parts, cardboard. Yeah, let's get to the real deal. The blender and its accessories. As my assistant Rusty pulls the box, making space. Almost. And boom. Let me bust this out of the plastic one second. All right, so we've got everything out of the box. It was packaged really neatly. So what, but it's packaged really neatly. We've got our blender, with our lid. We've got a, the crushing tube. I don't know the exact name for it, but that's what it is. Tamper. Tamper. Individual cup with the ring and the base and a lid for that. And then we have the base. Buttons, I mean, it's clean design. Buttons on it, single serve, puree, crush, soup, smoothie clean, power, low, mid, high, and pulse. Okay, we all know pulse. We all know puree and crush, smoothie and clean. So it says to clean this, you're just gonna run water in it and hit that button. Now, most of the buttons are set for one minute max, except the soup button. It says it'll make soup seven minutes. Hot. Meaning you take regular water and ingredients, put it in, and psh, soup's ready to go at the end. I hear there's other blenders that do that too. Haven't really heard that from the Ninja. We're going to check it out. As a matter of fact, we're going to make peanut butter, which we've done on the Ninja, and it worked really well. We're going to take some popcorn kernels to make cornmeal. I'm going to beat the snot out of those. And then i got a bunch of ingredients to make the soup. So we're going to give that a shot. Let's rock it. All right, so what I did, I've got everything out. I've got the Vava blender here. I've got the Ninja Blender here. We're going to do some peanuts, make some peanut butter, which we've done in the Ninja. Worked great. Cups of ice. We're going to try and beat up some ice. I have ingredients to make soup. and see how that goes. Vama says it makes soup in seven minutes from cold to hot. Well, room temperature to hot. We're going to check that out. But I'm also going to share with you some of the things I noticed right from the get-go. So on the Ninja, the one we're used to, you put it on, it locks in. The Vama goes in and there's little switches that these pins hit to give it an okay that it can turn on. It doesn't feel that stable. It may be, but at the moment it doesn't. Also the Ninja has a locking top with a pour spout. The Vava, to get the lid off, you have to use your thumb to push it or you have to peel it. Okay, I like a pour spout, I like a pour spout. The Ninja does not have a hole to add ingredients while you're running it. You have to pull the whole lid off, okay? The Vava has a hole, Ooh, and it's got one of these, what's it called, Rusty? A tamper? Don't tamper with the tamper, but it comes with a tamper. It comes with ingredients, which is great. They say don't use it while it's running. You know we all do, but it comes with it, okay? So that's the difference is just with the lids. Let's do some stuff and check it out. All right, something else that I forgot to mention is the Ninja comes with a locking tab on the bottom to help the suction cup stick. It's locked right now. So yes, it works, but our counter is so pristine and smooth. It doesn't have a great grip on it, so it will slide a little bit, but it doesn't fly off. The Vava has pretty good rubber on the bottom. It's, it's gripping pretty well, so it's about the same as far as the grip and tabletop, okay? So let's add some ingredients. Rusty was mentioning to me one of the reasons why the Ninja doesn't have a tamper is because it's got a second set of blades, okay? 
The Vava has your traditional set of blades. They may be cut different. They may be spectacularly different angle. We're gonna test it out and see. All right, so hey, let's crush the mice and see what we get. We're gonna run them equal time. Both of them have a crush button. So we'll go equal amounts of ice. Both, both of these are plastic. And so I'm not tall enough, whatever. I gotta put power on the ninja. Power on this one. Can you see the difference? All right, let me show you. So I just ran it a little bit because the Ninja's already done. It has made a delicate bouquet of snow. How do I show you that? It's, it's shape, okay? Yeah, I love working backwards. Not loving the lid. I'm not saying anything. All right? Hey, so you know what I'm gonna do? This is already done. I'm gonna run this longer. Okay, so here's the deal. The ice test, I ran it for a while. I don't have very much patience, and I do not like this lid. Not, not even close. Not even close. Plus, when you pull this off, it will still spin, and you can, if you nudge it, it, it comes unhooked. There we go. All right, so, you can see what I'm talking about, right? All right, let's move on to the next item up for bid. We're gonna run popcorn kernels, make some corn meal. All right, so our next test, we're gonna go with popcorn kernels. I'm gonna beat those up in here. Push the lid, pop the lid. We're gonna, make, we're gonna make some noise up in here. Let's see, what setting should we go with? Power, tower. Let's try low. Low? Really brushed. God, that was loud. Actually, uh, the Volvo was quieter than the Ninja because the Ninja didn't do squat with the kernels at all. As a matter of fact, let me peel off this fantastically easy to remove lid. The lid's much easier. Let me show you. It's uh, popcorn kernels that are barely any change. The Vava did a heck of a good job, right? Still needs some time to turn into a complete powder, but it was on its way. And the settings are, if you hit the button, you remember, we, we did it on low. You know what? I'm going to try it on high for both of them. Let's see what we come up with. So on low, the Vava did the job. The Ninja didn't. We're going to just test it out and go uh, power, power. And we're going to go with the highest speed. I'm going to go with high and... I 
I'm suing burning cereal for my hearing. <laughs> All right, hey, let's take a look. Let's get this lid out of here. Let's get this lid out of here. Let's see what we got from the Baba. We have powder. Look at that. Cornmeal. Wow, did an excellent job. Really excellent job. Great job. Ninja. Not even close. Not even close. Bob, I kicked his ass. Did I say ass? I'm sorry. Kicked its ass. All right, so hey, let's let's make peanut butter. We know the ninja does it. We've done it before. Ninja on the left, the new Vava blender on the right. I've got two cups of peanuts. We're gonna run it on high. On both. Let's see which one makes peanut butter faster. Power, power, plug your ears. Serious ear damage, just because. Uh, you can hear the Baba changing speeds every now and then. They're about the same for noise, okay? Let's take a look inside. I don't know how often you're going to make peanut butter with a blender, but we do it. So, the Vava has peanut butter at the very bottom middle. See, there's a little bit of, there's a little peanut butter in there, some creamy parts. Do you like really crunchy peanut butter? Here you go. You can see at the bottom there's some peanut butter in there. Okay. There's no real pouring here. This is peanut butter. As a matter of fact, I'll get my finger up in there. It's peanut butter. It's a little rough cut, could have let it run. Peanut butter. <laughs> like the dog. Ninja made peanut butter. The Baba made a little bit of peanut butter and a lot of broken peanuts. Ninja won this one. Back in a second. All right, since the Baba blender says it makes soup, and it says right on here, soup, 1200 uh, milliliter max, we're going to make soup. So we have... Same amount of ingredients. We got some warm water, equal amounts. Now the uh, Baba Blender says that if you hit the soup button, it'll run for seven minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna run a stopwatch with it, see if it really does seven minutes. And then uh, the Ninja doesn't have an auto shut off, so I'll shut that off at the seven minute mark also. And we'll see if they're hot, if they're soupy. We'll check them out. So, kind of warm water. Look at that, both hands, so talented. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go power. You ready to go deaf again? All right, let's do that. Power.
was seven minutes on the button, so that worked good. There was steam coming out of this one. You can see the Ninja's uh, horse spout was leaking. It was leaking all down the back, which was a drag. This container's really hot. This one's a little warm. So let's see if we got some hot soup. I already know this is hot. It's, look at that. Wow. Can you see that on camera? That is one blazing hot, at least it appears that way, soup. Of course, doing a soup in a blender, you're not going to have any chunks. Hmm. All right, so consistency. This one looks a little lighter. I don't know if that's because it's got more air incorporated into it. This one's steaming. The Ninja's not. I'm going to use this Chef Remy thermometer, which we did a review on in one of our other videos, and it actually had a giveaway. Ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred degrees, and it stopped. Okay. One hundred five, one twenty-five, one forty, one forty-nine, one one fifty seven, one fifty eight, one sixty three, one sixty six, one seventy. Holy crap! Seventy degrees hotter. One that caps out about one seventy. Wow! Seventy degrees hotter. That's hot soup. How hot is hot? I don't know. Rusty's waiting for me to burn my mouth. I'm that guy. Oh, that's really hot. Let me try this one first. Just for temperature, Rusty's soup making skills. That's cold. I mean, it's not cold, it's a little over room temperature, right? Damn that spicy rust. <laughs> That's soup temperature. That's hot soup. So, the Vava says it makes soup in seven minutes. It does. Hot, ready to go. That's cool. It's really cool. So, let me clean this up. We'll wrap it up. All right, so we ran some tests and things, and, and you know, we like to give it to you straight. What's going on? We received this blender for a test. We ran it through its paces. What you have in front of you is $99 worth on Amazon of the Baba product and $99 worth of the Ninja product. This is a food processor, it comes with it. Bang. It's got a tamper though. Anyway, so starting from the top. Hate the lid, hate the lid. Grandma cannot open this lid without blowing something out of the water. The cap doesn't stay on that tight, stuff comes bubbling up the top. The cap does have a measuring cup up to two fluid ounces, that's cool. But you can add items in while it's blending. You cannot do that with the Ninja. It just, you can't. Once, once it's locked, it's locked, but it does have a pour spout. No pour spout. I mean, I see a spot for a spout, but that's only when it's completely off. Okay? I hate the lid. Sorry. I hate the lid. Okay? Cleaning. You want to clean that? Or you want to reach in there and clean that? There isn't a way to remove the blades. So when it says it's got a self-cleaning mode, that's because you can't reach the gunk under the blades. It's tough. Both Rusty and I were watching the blenders go. The Ninja's not moving at all, and the lid of the top section of this one's moving. I mean, it's... I'm not a fan of how this sits on the base. And it was moving and grooving. It never came off. It never shut off, because there's switches right here from these pins that turn it on and off. It never shut off, and it never went undone. It just looked unstable, okay? As far as the base, the Ninja has a lock, eh. The Vava doesn't, but it sticks pretty well to the ground, to the surface. The Vava has many more options for speeds, products, including a timer. 
like when you hit puree, it'll stay on for a minute and shut off for you. It will vary speeds on whatever it needs to do, which is really nice. The Ninja only has three speeds. Dough, blend, crush, single serve. They both have a single serve setting. The Baba has puree, crush, soup, smoothie, clean, low, middle, high, and pulse. That's cool. When we ran the soup test, the Vava made piping hot soup. If you're into soups, get the Vava, throw your ingredients in there, hit the button, it'll run for seven minutes, go comb your hair, whatever, come back, you got piping hot soup. No chunks, because it's through a blender, it's just a puree of soup. The base of the Ninja was, and still is, warm. Really warm to the touch. No warmth coming out of this at all. Meaning, it ran easier than the Ninja. Okay? On the ice test, Ninja kicked its butt. It made a snow cone of ice. Of ice. The Vava had trouble with it. It made a little bit of snow on the outside of the blades, and the blades were sitting there spinning by themselves without crushing the rest of the ice. In the peanut butter challenge, the Ninja did the same thing. It kicked butt, and the Vava did not make peanut butter. In the cornmeal test, Vava kicked butt. Kicked butt. Made it into a powder pretty damn quick. The ninja couldn't even come close. Okay. In regards to the gears and spinning and kind of safety, you could pull this off while it's running. The motor's still running. If you try and put it on, <coughs> you're gonna grind the gears. So safety feature or whatever. You know, everybody pulls it, pulls this damn thing off as soon as they're ready, which is great. Can't put it back on. But it's metal gears to metal gears, which is cool. The Ninja Top locks on. It uses plastic, plastic gears, but we've had it a couple of years and not an issue. <coughs> Easy peasy, right? So judge for yourself. The Vava is a new product. Ninja's been around for a while. They're a little more stable. They can offer more for more bang for the buck. And just um, watch the video, make your own assessment, pick up a blender, and have a good time with it. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends. If you have comments, put them on the bottom. Have a great day.